today I went to um, a few stores today at the mall, and I received two of, well, I received my things from Zappos.com. Um, I only bought two things from there, but, um, so this will be a mall haul plus an online thing, kind of, I don't know what I would name this. But let's jump into it because I tried to record this and it didn't work. Um, so I'm going to start off with the malls, the mall things. I'll start from Target because, um, and then work up to my better things. Um, I barely got anything at the mall today. Um, I didn't really go into any clothing stores. I didn't go into Forever 21 just because... Whenever I walk around in there, I feel like I never want anything. And then I leave there and I'm like, I want everything. Um, and then if I did go to Forever 21, I would just buy it, end up buying like a lot of jewelry. Um, so, yeah. And then I didn't want to go into Lucky Jeans. Um, I, need, I, need, I do need jeans, but I don't want to spend like $500 on a pair of jeans. And then I went into American Eagle, but since I had already bought things from American Eagle, I didn't want to buy anything. Um, that I'm waiting for my American Eagle things online about that. So you put, watch for that haul. And then I bought stuff from Forever 21 online also. That's why. Wait for those two hauls. They'll be together. I mean, there'll be one video for those two things. Oh, and I got some stuff for Amazon. I'll do an online shopping haul in the future. Um, this is like back to school. I went to the mall. I guess I need, I'll start off Target. Um, I got some white out. Um, paper mate pencil things. These are my favorite pencils. Um, some highlighters because no matter how many I buy, I never, I always lose them or they disappear or they break. Or they get the black at the tip and then they start highlighting in black and it's not correct. It's just wrong. Then I got two. Um, one subject paper things. Um, nothing special. And I got some, I got three five star um, folders, one for school, one for my officer team for FFA, and then one for, um, I forgot what the, this one was for. It might have just been for, um, it'll probably just be extra, or it'll be for pumpkins, I'm not quite sure. So I got that, for that. Then I got some, um, new shampoo and conditioner, because I finally ran out of that Vino stuff. Um, and then I got some new shampoo. I got the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Restoring Shampoo. I don't know what the cer ceramid, 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 ceramide, ceramide, ceramide. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, rebuilt. It's supposed to rebuild fibers, strength, vitality, silkiness, and shine. Um, I bought this one because I didn't hear that many great things about the moisture one. And I don't really want to moisturize my hair anymore. Um, I feel like it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see if this restoring conditioner does anything. Even though my hair isn't damaged that badly. It's still kind of damaged, but... Still pretty healthy, I guess. Um, and then the other one in this line was a color one, and I don't color my hair, so I just decided that one was the best one to go with. <sighs> and then I got the John Frieda Frizz E Smooth Start Hydrating Conditioner. Um, it moisturizes and blocks frizz for extra dry hair. I'm gonna be using this either on the days that I don't shampoo, because on the days that I do not shampoo, I usually get in the shower, but I always need to do something with my hair. I don't like wa going into the shower and not doing anything, like not washing it or anything. So sometimes that's why I wash my hair every day, but I'm trying not to do that. So hopefully I'll be doing this like once a week. I mean, not once a week, like a few times a week, whatever. I'm not washing my hair 
And this is super moisturizing. I had a sample of this and it was really nice. Um, so I'm going to also get a clarifying shampoo from somewhere because they didn't have a clar the Neutrogena clarifying shampoo. And I don't know of any other clarifying shampoos, so... Because I want to start clarifying my sh my hair during school because then that's when I'll be wearing all the products in my hair. Um, then I got two lip products. Once they're both from Rose Blonde. I got a lip butter and then an Ultimate Suede Color Stay Ultimate Suede lipstick. This lipstick is in Socialite. Socialite. I still don't know how to say that. Someone tell me. Um, S, I mean, S-O-C-I-A-L-I-T-E. I'm pretty sure it's socialite, but I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, I'm destroying my life. Um, then the lip butter is in Peach Parfait. It's a, I guess it would be like a nude color. Oh my god, it has shimmer in it. I didn't know it had shimmer in it. Oh well. Um, and then I went to Victoria's Secret, but I only got scents. I didn't get anything, like, racy or whatever. My boobs are too big for their bras. And I just, I didn't want any underwear today, so. Got some scents. Um, my ultimate scent, just to let you know, my ultimate personal favorite scent, um, like, over anything, anything from Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, any perfume, anything, anything, my favorite scent is Victoria's Secret Sweet Daydream, and apparently they discontinued it or just stopped selling it, and, I mean, that's what discontinued me, they, like, stopped selling it or they just, I don't know what's wrong with them, um, they just, just, decided not to sell it anymore because I tried finding it online. I went to the store today and it wasn't there. And the only one that they had was Pure Daydream, but that wasn't the right one. It was not the same thing. And I was so disappointed because Sweet Daydream, I ran out of that bottle a couple of day, days, a couple of years ago. And I just haven't, I've been trying to use up old <sighs> scents. Um, so that's why I didn't buy it again when I ran out. But now that I want it, it's that they d it doesn't exist. So that's my little rant for today. Um, but I also bought, but today I bought um, a replacement of it, um, Victoria's Secret. Such a flirt. Um, it's a pretty color. I liked. I just like the Victoria's Secret packaging. Don't ask me why. Um, it smells like star fruit and white orchid. That's what they. <laughs> Um, it smells really fresh and like sweet. It just smells really good. So I was pleasantly surprised by that one. And I wanted the coconut passion one because it was like coconut passion and I wanted to smell like a coconut, but it was it didn't smell good. I don't like coconut and vanilla mixed together and that scent was coconut and vanilla. So I was like, ugh. So I've had a hard time with scents today. And now that I've went to Sephora today also, and they don't sell my DKNY, um, green apple one. I, I want that one so bad, but I don't know where it is. Um, and then I've also bought from Victoria's Secret, um, the Sexy Little Things Noir Teas. I feel like this should be filled more because they only sprayed it once. Dang it. I bought it before. Oh, well. Um, I'm not sure... I smell good. I kind of think this smells like Forever Sunshine from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, kind of. They kind of they smell similar. So Forever Sunshine and um, Noir Teas kind of smell the same. Um, and then I went to Sephora and I bought three things, four things, three things, but one was free. Um, I bought this oh, Urban Decay. Triple Threat Travel Pencil Set. <laughs> I like the name. Um, and it came with Rockstar, Rockstar, Zero, and Demolition. So brown, black, purple. Um, I had never tried these pencils before. And I wanted to try them, but I never could bring myself to buy a full, a full one. 
but just because I've been so in love with my Sephora Nano Eyes one since like three years ago, you know, kind of thing. Um, I just wanted to veer off from that and try try these just because I never know how and just they might be my new favorite. I'm not sure. Um, and then I got I got um, a Tarte Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint, and this is in Fiery. Uh, it looks like a chubby stick. That's how it is. I just love the color so much. And I've heard such great things about it. It smells minty. Um, yeah, so I just love... It just looks pretty. Um, but yeah, and then so I got the Righteous Butter Body Butter from Soap and Glory today. Um, I got a sample of this a while ago, and I remember using it and falling in love. Like, I just could not not have it, you know? And, oh, it smells good. Um, there's a bigger size of this. I got the, um, 1.69 ounces one. This is just a baby one. Um, they, di they didn't have the bigger containers out on the shelf, so I just bought this one. There was actually two different body butters, but I think this was the right one as the sample. I'm not sure, because I forgot which... One I got in the sample. I'm pretty sure it was the Righteous Bun, but I'm not quite sure. And then as for my Sephora points, because, you know, if you go into Sephora and you're a member kind of thing, you get, um, like, you add up, you accumulate points from every dollar you spend at Sephora. Well, um, I have that. And I had a, bare, a little over 100 points. So um, they had a... A nail polish, a liquid eyeliner, and I think like an eye cream. I'm not sure. Um, but I ended up getting the nail polish just because it felt like I would use it more. Even though right now I'm really into eyeliner, um, I just decided that I would like this one. And so this is Deborah Lipman Happy Birthday. Um, it's super pretty. It's like a lot of different confetti colors. and It's just pretty. And it's tiny and it's cute. And I bought on Amazon in my future haul... Um, I bought a nail polish rack, which I'm so excited for because I have the box of nail polishes and they're like, ah. Um, but yeah, and then the Sephora lady gave me a professional thing. And then from Zappos, finally, after 12 minutes of talking, um, at Zappos.com, I got these Van sunglasses for $18. And they're just black aviators with like a purpley kind of tinted, um, lens see my hand out it's purple yeah so I love aviators I'm not quite sure if they go with my face shape or whatever because you know I'm supposed to buy sunglasses for your face shape or whatever um I don't know I don't like the big round things and I'm not sure what shape face shape I am I know that might seem ridiculous am I like a heart an oval I'm not a square I don't know what I am um, yeah, so they're just like this. I like how there's such a, a, um, thin frame, and it has a little V on here. Do you see it? Do you see the V? <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got these. They're my, my new babies. They fit kind of funny, but I really love them. You'll see me in that. And then I got these... Type Z loafers. These are also my new babies. They look like, they remind me of the Steve Madden loafers that they used to sell. But these are really pretty. They also come in um, a patent leather, you know, it's shiny, with black stripes, black spikes. Then they have a leopard with black spikes, spike, spike. And then they have like a nude, like nude suede with probably gold spikes. I'm not quite sure. But that's what type busy cells on zappos.com forgot how much those were though um yeah so that's my haul um i hope you guys enjoyed and please look out for my future haul which will be an online shopping haul with um my american eagle forever 21 stuff out in amazon i think and etsy because i bought a few things off of etsy um so yeah thank you for watching and i hope you guys subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye